Hi guys, welcome to our new series. We're sitting down with our clients to talk about the work we've done together. A couple of days ago, I had the pleasure of talking to Brian Seeley from BSW. Brian is the marketing director and jack of all trades there. BSW sells radio equipment like transmitters, broadcast processors, mics, headphones, and even some video equipment to radio stations all across the globe. We've been working with them for 11 years now, and it's been a unique challenge to find ways to talk to this interesting audience of audio engineers, broadcast engineers, voiceover artists, and audiophiles, and more recently, even podcasters. Uh, we had a great time chatting about it. So here's the highlights from that conversation. When you look at what we sell, it's tremendously boring um, to, to, to and anyone who's not technical. There's a lot of boxes. Uh, there's, there's a lot, lot of boxes. Of, yeah. There's a lot of square boxes. There's a mm -hmm. lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of acronyms and mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of things that, that the, the normal person would look at and just, just, just not be interested in. And so trying to take something, uh, that engineers are used to, which is sort of, uh, data, dry, boring boxes that, you know, do a job and, and, you know, trying to make it fun. I mean, you guys have done a really good job uh, and over the evolution of that 11 years when we used to do uh, the funnies mm -hmm. in the print, you know, we'd, we'd do these little uh, old black and white cartoons of, uh, uh, you know, sort of tongue in cheek jokes about equipment and, and, and people really like that. Uh, you know, and another thing that, that we did was, you know, hiding uh, uh, things within the print for the customer to seek out, whether it's a product or like the face of our, our president, Tim, who's hiding behind a microphone somewhere and they have to enter a contest to win something. Mm -hmm. it, it just drives engagement. It drives uh, the customer to, you know, instead of just thumbing through uh, a piece of print and just tossing it, they're like, wow, okay. You know, I entered into this contest. I read this thing four times over to find this stupid thing and I better win it. And, and, you know, and we just try and keep it light and you guys have done a really good job at, 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 at helping us do that in a, in a, in a kind of a dry, boring marketplace. Thank you. And I mean, I wouldn't call it boring. It's really highly specialized, but we've gotten to know it uh, pretty well over the last few years. So that's been, that's been our pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you could probably start your own radio station. Yeah, there you go. Uh, do you feel like there's particular marketing channels that are more important for your business? What do you feel like is really winning the revenue for you? Well, a lot of our business is still driven by uh, direct communication. So phone calls and direct email, uh, especially with our radio people and building relationships has been more and more important as um, our, our customer demographic gets smaller and smaller and, and, and more focused. But we found is the, the decision makers who um, are writing the checks and giving the okays for the big stuff Print seems to be the best way to reach them, um, mostly because of all the digital noise, uh, the mass emails going from you know every vendor of, of any kind. Um, it, it just tends to get lost, especially at the the upper B two B level. So we we've still have found great success in in using print to to reach those people. We spent the first three weeks of March. Um, during the, the lockdown stuff, uh, getting some pretty major broadcasters remote um, as quick as we could. And um, working with those folks to essentially piece together how they're going to do business for the next couple years um, in, in a matter of days um, was pretty exciting. And um, we use that as a footprint going forward for the, the slew of broadcasters after that who you know, came and said, what do we do? Everything's shut down. I've got one guy coming into the station now and everybody else is at home. How do we do it? And we go, well, here's what we did with Sirius. And they were only off air for a couple of days and boom. And, and we were off to, to kind of saving, saving their bacon as they uh, went home and, and continued business. So yeah, um, saving their bacon, keeping them on the air and that yeah. education, you mentioned something really important there, that education has been something that we've been able to, because you guys do that, that's something that we've been able to weave into your story, into your catalogs and like bring your people that you're, we started calling them gear gurus, bring mm -hmm. them forward. Um, the, you know, their real authentic faces and, you know, the products that they pick. Um, and that's been part of your story. And I feel like that's been important to your customer. Absolutely. And, and 
being able to say, you know, the guy on the other end of the phone uh, has been in radio for 30 years mm -hmm. and he's done this. In fact, he's, he's, he's probably done uh, things before you were born in, in radio and before both um, of us were born, I'm sure. Yeah. And he, and he's, he's able to, to negotiate every situation and you know what they, they've all kind of been there and done that. And it's real hard for, you know, a, a customer to call us and, and go, here's an issue. And we just go, yeah, we've, we totally get what you need. And we've been doing this a long time and, and uh, bringing those, those, those things to the forefront of our marketing and the print and, uh, you know, on the web and, and doing, you know, a video series with uh, our salespeople and having the gear gurus front uh, and center has really given a, a face to, to our salespeople essentially to reach out to customers. And, you know, they call me and they say, well, I see Justin's been there since, you know, 2007, you know, and he's my guy and, you know, I, I won't go anywhere else. Being able to pinpoint what you do well and, and sticking to those things in times of crisis, that'll get you through it. Good advice. Good advice. Okay, uh, you've been very generous with your time today, so I want to thank you for that. I do have one final question. It's incredibly important. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Okay. I just can't tell you enough how much I've enjoyed working with you over the years, and um, thank you again for spending this time with us. No, you're welcome, and thank you. You guys have been awesome, and, and, and I'm glad we get to work together, and we'll, we'll do it for another 11 years. How about that? Yeah, here's to another 11.